why did I go pick up Everett instead of stay with my mother? My family members would have been happy to go because they didn't want to go near my mother, afraid of death. And, you know, you could go on that forever. But I decided not to. I decided you're always going to do one thing wrong. You're always going to not say the last word. And besides, I love beginnings and I hate endings. I hate them. And I always like say, I'll see you later when my friend Karen moved to Florida. I said, I'll see you later. And I knew she was moving the next day and I wouldn't get there in time. And I went to pick up my son and my mom was okay. I'm like, you're going the land of law, mom. And when I came back, she was still alive, but she was in the morphine coma. And when she died, I went right to the funeral home because my brother David, my oldest brother, who sometimes says that he thinks he was picked in the war during Vietnam to be a Manchurian candidate. And, you know, like he remembers sodium pentothal in the helicopter. I'm like, the dude, he was a staff sergeant and he was a lifer. And all he ever did was play golf. And I'm like, so they see this guy playing golf, borrowing 20 bucks off everybody, and they go, that's our assassin, Dave. I don't think so. You know, my brother really believed he was a Manchurian candidate. So he goes to the funeral home, and I'm like, Dave, he's full of guilt. He feels really bad. And I'm like, Dave, listen, you got to go, because there's going to be like a whole row of caskets, okay? from the cheapest to the highest. And no matter what, I'm, all, I'm getting the one next to the cheapest. And I know what you'll do. I'll buy the biggest one. I'm like, yeah, you're not going to do that because we only have $10,000 for the wedding, for the, for the funeral. So my brother left, and this man who buried my mother buried everybody in our whole clan and everybody else that we know. And so he's saying, you know, he's telling me the camp, like, wow, you guys really have, it's almost like a showroom, like you're really doing a big thing. And, he, and Reno just starts telling me all about He's so enthusiastic about the funeral business. And I said, my mother wants to look good. And so we pick out a hair color. And my cousins, who are very close, are far away. And I'm like, you have to keep her. We have to wait until next Wednesday. He's like, oh, that's really bad. I'm like, put her in ice cream, you know, because we have to wait. We can't have a, the wait without my cousins. They're, like, really close. And so he's, he's like, all right, but we have to do her makeup on Saturday. And the Saturday before the wake, I went there, and my mother's laying out, and he did, the, the hair was a good dye. He almost did it black from back in the ITM days, and I'm like, oh, she would have oh, had to put her wig on her. And I knew she would have liked that. And I was putting the makeup on, and I really liked doing my mother's face when she was in the hospital, so I'm putting the makeup on, and Rita was telling me all about the new technology of, you know, that he can do when he fixes her up. You know how your eyes look plastered down? Well, we don't do that now. And I'm like, tell me all about it. And he tells me all about it. And I'm doing my mother's lips, and he helps me. And I get her lips all right. And next is coming the wake, and next is coming that terrible thing where they put her in the ground. And then later will be the moment when I'm driving, and I forgot she's dead, and I'm heading toward the house. And I remember thinking, I really like that. I never noticed the feeling I had. I forgot she was dead. And I was driving down, and the feeling of anticipation, it was just this pleasant anticipation. And I was so glad I got it one more time because I never really noticed it until after she was gone. But in all that time while we were fixing her up, it was really great to talk with him. You know, he'd known all my family who was gone now. My father had been long gone. He died before my wedding. And, and Reno said, you know, he was so proud of all of his stuff. And I was proud too because I looked out and I knew what I saw and I knew it was something my mother would really like. And I said to Reno, she looks good. Thanks. <laughs>